Cancerian. Thank you for coming to watch my video. And this is for the end of February, end of February reading for 2021. And let's see what Cancer needs to know for the end of the month of February. What do Cancer needs to know about the Cancerian? If you've never watched my videos before, I do intuitive reading and um, I use my cards and my intuition to use my cards. They are me and they their own sort of way. Um, and if this does not resonate with you, you can go watch your moon, sun, or rising. What do Cancers need to know for the end of February? Interesting. I see you guys are feeling pretty good about your, you're feeling pretty happy, pretty stable. Um, I do see passion. I see a, it could be a Leo, a person that's very um, free-spirited and wants to, they're very passionate about what they, they do. Um, I see a celebration of some sort, maybe a birthday or a anniversary or something, but I see a celebration here. Um, I do feel like some of you have a lot going on right now, very confused, very, um, like you have a lot going on and you're feeling overwhelmed and I feel like that there is some things that you're trying to do. Um, you're trying to make a new beginning and you're trying to manifest and create things, but it's like at the same time you got a lot of anxiety. Um, but I do see somebody that is influencing you right now that is a motherly type. It could be your mother. It could be somebody that you just look up to that is older, that has wisdom, that supports you um, with that security within you. Um, I do see gathering people celebrating something. Um, maybe... Uh, I see free spirits, free spirited, like you're being very free spirited, like you are trying to make a new beginning, um, again, new beginning, creativity, and it's like you're waiting for this though to come, it's like something that you have planned that is just waiting to happen, and it's like you sometimes have to step back from the situation and say, okay, what do I need to do? Um, a lot of times we feel like we have to control a lot of things that um, we can't control because when the stars line up, it will be controlled by what the universe wants us to do. Um, you have to have that free will and that willpower to get things started, but um, at the same time, things only work when it's supposed to work. Um, so you need to let the universe take control sometimes and step back okay so whatever it is that you've got going on step back and let the universe take control um, I do see fast paced or moving or traveling um, but I see a lot of action going on right now um, you got a lot of things going on um, and this is controlling your you, you might feel a little depressed, a little out of control, a little alone. You might be taking a step back from people. You might be making yourself um, separated from others that are around you. I do see you are learning a lesson about something right now. Um, you have a lot of things that obviously are going on, um, but at the same time, you're learning from this. You're learning a lesson that needs to be learned so you have full control full um, you have full willpower to do whatever this is that you're trying to do um, but I do see you being generous which of course as a cancer as a cancer ascendant or cancer moon you guys are very loving and it's 
like you care about other people and you want to help other people. Um, but maybe um, maybe you have something else between you and a friend that is going on that's depressing you and frustrating you. Um, but it looks like you're going to work together to you're going to work together through this, um, whatever it is. Um, it could be a relationship, but it could be as well as a friendship. Um, but it, it's like you're working hard to figure things out, but at the same time, it does stress you out. But these are things that you don't need to be worried about. It's unnecessary worries, okay? Um, I see lots of water here, which does not surprise me because you guys are very, you're a water water um, sign and you're very caring you have that intuition to um, as well as you know that's what makes you intuitive you guys are people that are um, you, you when you're around people you can feel other people's energy you can feel the energy when you walk into the room a lot of people that are cancer ascendant or cancer moon or cancer sun like when you go to places um, it's hard for you to go to places sometimes because you can feel everybody's energy. You can feel the energy around you. Um, so for you, you need to take a moment and cleanse your energy. Cleanse it. Maybe go see a Reiki healer or um, go to a place that you can relax. Maybe just go get a massage or... Um, sit in your room by yourself and close your eyes and listen to some healing energy music. Um, sorry, I got a lot of background noises today. What else does cancer symptoms or cancer cancerians need to know? What is it that they need to know for the last bit of February? How is the February going? Lots of sirens. So I see that you guys are going through a transformation right now. This transformation, though, is going to be a secure transformation. Um, whatever it is that you're doing is for your own security, for money, for security maybe mentally, but I see more as of money. Um, we're always, we always feel secure when we have that security of money, um, but it's going to be for the good. This transformation is going to bring you to um, a better life, a better lifestyle. Um, you right now have the power to manifest whatever you want as a cancer a cancerian you can manifest anything at any time actually um you guys are very intuitive you have that psychic ability you have that that the energy that you have is amazing um so manifesting sometimes we don't understand um how but and manifest things through the way we speak, the way we think, the way we talk, the way um, the way we put ourselves out. Whatever you put out into the universe comes back to us. So understand that manifestation is what we speak, the energy we put out. Um, so speaking of that manifestation, manifest the things that you want. It looks like you're getting what you're wanting. <laughs> um, you're getting presented something, and you get a new beginning. You have that new passion for whatever it is that you're doing. You just got that new passion, new, new fire within your soul. Um, and I do feel like, though, you have a little bit of fear of this transformation. Um, this transformation, of course, as Cancerians, we are people that we have to have that stability that's our fourth house the fourth house naturally is cancer which is home um so home life and security
security is very important to us. We have to have that. So we are feeling a bit betrayed or we feel a bit unsettled, like an earthquake. If, if we make moves, you know, it's like, oh shit, the earth is moving and I can't do this. But take your time. Use the energy of your psychic ability and go with that intuition that you have, okay? Because that transformation is coming. It is coming. Amazing. That's awesome. What else does Cancer need to know for the end of February? They need to know about love. 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 supposed to be okay um i feel like there's a lot of times that you might feel a little um frustrated against your your um lover your mate whatever but i feel like if you look at things from a different point of view or maybe it is that you are already looking at things from a different point of view it's like you sit back and you are like okay well i'm looking at this from another point of view because i know that it it fits me better to look at every everything around me not just what i want to look at you know like sometimes we get stuck in a certain way of thinking and then sometimes we just got to step back and say okay this is how it is and I'm going to accept it and really it makes you feel so much better when you do it like that but I feel like you're stepping back looking at the situation and it brings you to believe that you are in a secure relationship like this is it I'm I'm okay I'm okay right now so for February you guys are feeling good about your relationship um, it's like you're creating something that you've been wanting. Um, you have new feelings, or maybe they're just not new feelings, but you have, you're presenting a newer way to look at your relationship, okay? Um, but I do see happy relationship, happy life. Um, some of you are taking a break and putting more um, into your relationship than taking um, sometimes we put more into work life or other things, but right now I feel like you are putting more energy into your relationship than you are of other things. Okay, one more love reading. What else do we need to know about love?
Mm. Okay, so for your love life right now, you're feeling well balanced. Maybe if you are in a relationship, if you're not in a relationship, I feel like that there is somebody that is watching you from your past that is wanting, or I guess not necessarily if you're not in a relationship, but if you, I do see somebody from your past that is looking um, towards you right now, somebody that um, betrayed you, um, that it's like they are wanting to mark you as like you've done something wrong when it was really them that did something wrong um but i do feel like they are trying to start a new life but the, their new life that they are starting um is like they're not very happy yet <laughs> they are not very happy they are, it looks like they might be even cheating if they're in another relationship it looks like they're cheating um but it's like they are, why is this about an ex? I didn't ask. Okay, so for one, oh man, all these cards fall on everywhere. Okay, so first off, um, with all this, um, it's like they are not happy in their relationship that they're in. <laughs> Okay, so for you guys that are in or not in a relationship, um, it's like right now you're learning the lessons of life. For the rest of this month, it's like you are learning, okay, this is not going the way I expected, but you have the ability to turn that around and to make it something good, and you're learning from that. Wow, my necklace, look at that. Bam. Um, so the ability to turn it around and to look at it and learn a lesson from it is wonderful for you that are just breaking up okay but i do see a new beginning um some of you have a new relationship coming some of you are having um a new relationship somebody's about to come knocking at your door not literally but or maybe they are i don't know 